What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. Hopped up on meds, this guy right now, so I'm feeling great. And I want to talk about something because I get this question asked all the freaking time and I think it's time to address it because more players are jumping on uh, since the Dante event. I think that actually brought in quite a few folks and, and obviously the survey talked about collabs. So we're probably going to see a lot more collabs. But one thing I get asked about all the time is Payne, in the comment section mostly to be honest with you, and in Discord sometimes, it's pain. I've got my bison to SSS. What do I do next? Do I push the SSS plus five or do I stop? And who do I go for next? So I'm going to do what I do best and give you guys some analysis on what you guys should be doing going forward. And you guys can make that decision based on what I tell you. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what exactly SSS plus five is compared to SSS. Okay. So this is my free to play account, right? You guys can see here, I've got 4,654 uh, diamonds. I mean, I'm almost I'm almost at the point where I can get myself a little bit more um, and pull another bison. So I'm almost at triple S bison here. Where am I? Oh, sorry, the double S bison, I should say. Uh, I, need one, I need one more bison and I'm there. Once you get to triple S with bison, you could actually stop. And the reason why I'm going to say that, guys, is triple S to triple S plus five is only a base stat increase. So that's attack, defense, and HP, up to a maximum of, I think it's 12 to 15%, if I remember the math correctly. So you're not really increasing too, too much in terms of what you want. Now with Bison specifically, you don't want him dying all the time, but you do want him exploding as often as possible to increase the damage production he does for you, and as well as the AoE damage he does to the opponent. So getting Bison to SSS plus 5 as a free-to-play specifically is not a necessity. As a matter of fact, you're most likely going to keep him at SSS because you want to, number one, open up his uh, Fighting Spirit at SS, and then you want to open up his vehicles at, S at SSS, and, and then you're free to stop there. Now, again, the question usually is, Pain, what do I do next? Okay, so if you go to Divination, you guys have quite a few choices. Now, I'm going to say this for free-to-play straightforward. If you are using Divination for anything besides Master and Infernal, you're wasting it. Okay, do not do that. As you can see here, you can't choose Akuma yet. He would be choice number one. But if you have him to SSS, SSS plus 5 for Akuma actually is a pretty good idea because... As a damage dealer, you want the attack based stat to increase as much as possible because it scales off of the percentage, okay? So for damage dealers, SSS plus 5 is actually worth it. For someone like Bison, it's not a necessity, okay? Because again, he plays a different role and he plays it he plays it uniquely like nobody else does, right? So if you've been hunting for Akuma as a free-to-play and you somehow have managed to get him to SSS, which I've seen a few actually have been doing that because all they've been doing is saving their tickets, going for him, and they've done it, then SSS plus 5 Akuma is actually a pretty good deal using div tickets. Now, let's actually talk about the other units that are worthwhile. I'm going to break it down for you guys so everybody understands who is worth it and who's not. Now, I'm going to move my camera up for you guys real quick, okay, so you guys can see the units instead of me, right over here. How's it going? Um, so... Let's go through both factions. Master units. I'm going to talk about the two that you don't really care about too much right now. So first one is Gen. Is Gen worth it? Number one, I'm going to say to get him to triple S is absolutely not worth it right now. Right now. If you were to ask me a month and a half ago, I would say absolutely one of the best single target damage dealers in the game. Then power crept already. Not worth it. So he's good for assist. I will say that. And he's good off, like he's a good secondary to third Third, third, tertiary, tertiary, how is that how you say it? Uh, damage dealer, main damage dealer, but he's not, he's still not going to be the top three even in the game. So, for Gen, I would hold off. If you can get him to SS to get his assist, it's not bad, but I would not by any means put him in the front line as your next target unit, okay? Let's go to the next one, Trendy Cami. So, a lot, there's a lot of controversy behind Trendy Cami. Now, here's the problem with Trendy Cami. She is absolutely one of the top damage dealing boss units. Don't get it twisted. She absolutely is. If anyone tells you otherwise, they don't know how to use her or they're not using her correctly. But with that being said, she and Fashion Blanca share the spotlight a lot on the same bosses. There's only, I'd say, a few bosses that she shines more. One of them being the Path of Fire with Zangief, the Mech Zangief. She absolutely destroys everybody in that fight. Akuma. Fashion block, it doesn't matter who it is. She destroys everybody on that fight. So if you're looking to get a high score for that, and you get a lot of diamonds for doing so, she's worth it for that. She's also worth it for like Ixil, uh, Crusade Boss, and a few other event bosses that are single target. She will absolutely shine. But with Fashion Blanca in the in in the in the spotlight with her, 
he kind of takes over that role for many other bosses. So you don't need her. And to maximize her and to get the most potential out of her, you you have to have her FS30 and you have to have her six cars. So she's an absolute like necessity for getting maxed out to get her full potential. So you have to do that. Okay. So in that regard, I don't. If you have Fashion Blanca and you're free to play, ignore Training Cami. Okay. Get a copy of her if you need to, just for like events, like the path of uh, the path of trials needed her for some odd reason. But you, but you don't want to max her out, okay? By any means, she's not worth it because of Fashion Blanca doing a lot of the work that she already does, even though she does shine in other fights, okay? Next up, Athlete Chun-Li versus Rose. These two are for sure worth it. Now, there's two reasons why. Athlete Chun-Li, we've been doing a lot of testing. Her Vortex actually absorbs ranged specials and combos and attacks up to six times. That means Yoga Catastrophe, Poison's uh, Super... Uh, combat guile super so anything that's considered a range attack she literally absorbs it in the vortex and you take no damage from it so she also heals she also does aoe she also gives you a 25 percent damage reduction including effect resist on uh all the elements so she is absolutely an incredibly amazing support but most of the time she's going to be used primarily for pvp and she brings you uh decent buffs in pve as well so, but she does require a lot of investment. She's brand new and they're still doing a lot of testing. So she's definitely up there for the next one that you want to go for. But there's one other unit that actually takes precedence over her and that's going to be Rose. Rose is still considered, in my opinion, one of the best supports in the game. Clearly for a couple of reasons. Number one, requires a lot less investment. If you get her to FS20, she shines. She does double the cards. 100% more proficiency on those cards and her card buffs are as follows so this crit up attack up uh, pressure up I believe and speed up and it's all it's all really high percentages for each of them so and the fact that she gives random cards to all of the all of the 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 the, the, the team members and she has the ability to give herself that same buff 50% of the time and then after she gives all four cards she does a heal and does an AoE damage and also a silence right so she, she only requires three cars as well, while most of these other units require uh, six cars. So you can even use Rose as an A unit and still get those buffs as, as a tag unit. So Rose would probably take precedence out of everybody here from the master side, okay? Again, only if you don't have Akuma to SSS, then you want to get him to SSS plus five as quick as possible to maximize his damage output. But right now, Rose takes first place after Bison, and then it's going to be Athlete Chun-Li, and then it's, I would say, Trendy Kami, and then it's Gen, because Gen and Trendy Kami require the same amount of um, uh, investment to maximize damage, okay? So, let's talk about Inferno. Not much going on here, right? Bison clearly the clear winner here. If MH Ken was here, he would take precedence over everybody, to be quite honest, but he doesn't, because he's a, he's a collab unit, and we don't have him. Uh, Dante would have also been in Master, but he's a collab unit. He, we, you know, he's gone now for, for a little while. Uh, Jury, same as Gen. Same as Gen. First off, easy to get in the shop. Uh, events constantly drop her. And at the same time, she has been power crept by Trendy Cami and other units like Fashion Blanca. So she's not really required anymore. And she also still requires quite a bit of investment if you want to max her out. Vega, on the other hand, is a, he's an X Factor. And I'm going to say this for a good reason. I have him at SSS. He is the fastest base unit in the game at speed 160. He has a unique C3 that actually does a lot of damage on bosses, especially when the bosses have lost their own HP. I don't think we've seen his full potential yet because I think there needs to be a team built around him. So I don't recommend going for Vega now, but I would say keep an eye out, out, out for him once we get units that complement him a little better. And I think if that is the case, we're probably going to see Vega move up those ranks a little bit in terms of tier list and wants. Uh, but for now neither of these are going to be the top priority at all. So it's going to be Bison, Rose, Athlete, Chun-Li, stop there. All right, guys, that's my advice. Everybody can live at SSS, except for your damage dealers. They should be pushed to SSS plus five because you do want those base attack stats to be uh, working off the percentiles. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any further questions or any comments, let me know in the comment section, obviously. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.